and welcome to this special edition of the show buzz i'm karina mitchell okay so where are you planning to be this sunday night if the answer is in front of your tv or computer screen watching the oscars then you're like millions of others around the world all tuning in to hollywood's biggest night of the year big because the academy is doubling its field of best picture nominees to 10. going for the gold are frontrunners avatar directed by james cameron and catherine bigelow's the hurt locker the film continues to grow in popularity, adding wins at BAFTA and the New York Film Critics Awards to its resume. Avatar and The Hurt Locker lead the award nominations with nine apiece, including nods for Best Director, and it's going to be very interesting to see who comes out on top in this battle of the exes. Jeff Bridges finds himself in good shape vying for Best Actor in Crazy Hearts. Fox Searchlight has been pushing him hard and seen as a member of Hollywood royalty and a four-time nominee, this could be his year. The Colin Firth and a single man will definitely give him a run for his money, as will Jeremy Renner for The Hurt Locker. In the Best Actress category, Sandra Bullock is up for The Blind Side. The film was a big hit with audiences and is just the type of comeback film the Academy loves. She faces stiff competition, however, from favorites Meryl Streep as the iconic Julia Child and from 24-year-old Carrie Mulligan with a breakout performance in An Education. Monique has been generating such buzz as the one to beat in the Best Supporting Actress category for her part in Precious that Gabori Sidibe has been pretty much sidelined from picking up an award for her part in the film. Others to watch for in the sporting category include Penelope Cruz, Vera Farmiga and Anna Kendrick, both nominated for Up in the Air. And the show is getting a social media facelift this year. In an effort to ramp up younger viewership, there'll be a chance to Facebook questions to the stars as they walk the red carpet and get all the answers in real time. The show will be hosted by funny men Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin, the first duo to do so since 1987. And that's a buzz for now. For all the post-Oscar scoop, check in with CBSNews.com. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.